On the 18th day of October, Halloween gave to me 18 haunted marches, 17 eternal lonelinesses, 16 cursed VHS tapes, 15 spectral snapshots, 14 mothers murdering, 13 prices bleeding, 12 models dying, 11 Bettys baking, 10 prices burning, 9 seagulls pecking, 8 scientists sneaking, 7 goldwind shooting, 6 psychic scamming, 5 naked witches, 4 alien spelunking, 3 UFO abductions, 2 deputy so-and-sos, and a masked hawk being creepy. Hey everyone, it is day 18 of our 31 days of Halloween. October 18th uh, is what that makes it. Uh, I am Bo, I am your host, your companion, uh, the the ghost following you home uh, in, in our journey through these 31 films, and we are I'm more than halfway done now, which is a real bummer for me, but uh, yeah, this is really exciting. Uh, th- th- it's funny because I recorded a bunch of these in preparation for going out of town, and so now I am back and doing these in, in more real time. But uh, it, it feels like I haven't done one in forever, and it feels like I should be much more behind than I am. Uh, so, you know, I guess that's uh, a a recommendation for being prepared, I suppose. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Today we are um, not quite rounded out. We're about halfway through our look at Asian horror movies, and we're looking at one called 1159, or 2359, is the, uh, the the actual title? I keep wanting to call it 1159 because I'm I'm a stupid American. But this is a ghost story done by Gilbert Chan. Um, it is very much uh, following suit with uh, a lot of the other movies we we've been talking about. Not the the technological bent, but it is definitely a a ghost story in in that fashion. Uh, it, it's from Singapore originally, and this, uh, you know, we talked about three categories of movies that I've been watching for the 31 days of Halloween, and this falls into the, hey, I remember seeing this, and I don't remember a ton about it, but I remember it being uh, something that I wanted to revisit, and so here we are talking about 2359, and the problem with doing this movie, you know, fast on the hill, the heels of things like, you know, Ringu and Pulse and Shudder, is that this movie ain't as good as those. Um, just <laughs> spoilers. But it is uh, it is interesting because it, it... So this came out in 2011, and it's clearly Singapore trying to get in on this trend uh, to, to do a ghost story of their own. And it's got kind of an interesting... Um, set up. Okay, so the, essentially the premise is that there is a, a group of soldiers on an island in Singapore and there's a local village that has sort of, uh, you know, this this legend of um, a witch who lived in this village and died and, you know, it does witch shit, like curses people and whatnot. And... Uh, there's this bullied soldier that it, it, there's almost a, a, a full metal jacket kind of vibe to it where you have uh, uh, this bullied soldier um, being picked on by some of the other guys in the barracks. And, um, you know, he's he's the one who absolutely believes in all the hauntings and that kind of thing. And there's uh, an, his protector, if you will, uh, a guy named Tan and Tan. Um, you know, doesn't, he doesn't outwardly believe in all of this, but it's a hundred percent that he does because he has some latent psychic powers, uh, that he has inherited from his family, much like a uh, Ringu, right? Like, um, you know, that is not as ridiculous an idea as it would be in an American film, or at least, uh, a more absurd idea that I, I, I think you see, um, predominantly in Asian horror films where this idea of you inherit, usually from the mother, you inherit uh, some kind of, um, you know, supernatural power or, or a curse or something like that from the mother. 
and I, you know, Ringu certainly had it, uh, and and this movie kind of traffics in that same thing, uh, except instead of a daughter and one who is evil and can make you die by thinking about it, this is a guy who's got some latent psychic powers and just doesn't want anything to do with it. Um, you know, he, he's estranged from his father, uh, because of, of that kind of business with his mother. And, uh, but anyway, once, you know, people start dying, uh, in this barracks, uh, then Tan is sort of forced to embrace his, his own past. And thematically, that's kind of what the movie is about is addressing the past and, and the relationship between uh, child and parent in a lot of ways. And uh, so the, anyway, they, they go on these like, you know, 24 kilometer marches. And uh, during one of those, uh, one of the soldiers dies. And one of my favorite things in this movie, though, is that there is their like platoon leader, their sergeant or whatever, who is like uh, telling his superior, who's a younger man. And it's like, hey, there's no such thing as ghosts or anything like that. And the sergeant is, is an older guy and clearly a, a little bit more traditional. Because he's like, what are you talking about? This place is haunted as fuck. Like, uh, every time I turn around, like, one of my soldiers is dying or going missing. And it's because of ghosts. There's ghosts all over this place. I, I, I thought one of them was one of my soldiers. And the older, or the, I'm sorry, the younger guy who is uh, in charge... Is like, you know, is that what you want me to tell the parents? Like, ghosts killed their son? You know, that's ridiculous. I can't tell anybody that. But meanwhile, totally, ghosts were killing the son. Um, and so Tan ends up having to sort of explore this mystery of why is this haunting happening? Uh, and the, the idea is, of course, that this witch is... You know, the ghost of this witch is, is what's causing all this. But as, as the movie goes on, you learn that it is much more, uh, you know, it is kind of a, a Ringu situation where there's a, a child in the mix that is uh, perhaps a little violent. But but violent because uh, she was abused. And, you know, and again, you can argue, well, that's Ringo too. But, you know, once your kids start psychically murdering people with their mind... Maybe you got to throw them down a well. Maybe that's just what you got to do. Uh, I don't know. I've never been in that situation. I can't say for sure. Uh, <laughs> but so the, the 2359, um, you know, kind of resolves itself in much the same way. And, and there's, you know, uh, some resolution between uh, child and parent for both the, the ghostly goings on and for Tan himself. Uh, and all that kind of works. Here's the problem with 2359. Is that it's just kind of dull. Uh, not as much ghostly business goes on as you want. Um, and when it does, it's not particularly scary. Uh, it's, it's okay. And when we're talking about... And again, this is because we've been, you know, just a, a, a spoil of riches here. Uh, talking about some of the best, you know, we're, we're talking about movies like Ringu and Shudder and Pulse and, you know, I mean, some of the, the heavyweights of Asian horror, right? Uh, and then when you come to something like 2359, it's like, well, this is an attempt at doing one of those kinds of movies, but you don't have, you know, a, a Kurosawa or uh, a, a Naruto um, doing... Did I say Naruto? Uh, who's the guy who did Ringu? Uh, Nakata? Yeah, Nakata. Uh, apparently, I've been around the kids far too much uh, who will just occasionally shout out Naruto Run and then run with their arms behind their back. And it's very silly and yet somehow entertains me. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, when you're talking about directors like that, Gilbert Chan just isn't that director. You know, I don't think he's a bad director. I think all of this works. But it feels very journeyman. It feels very workmanlike, uh, and and therefore it doesn't have the directorial flourishes that make those other movies really tense and wonderful. And it's it's interesting, you know. The there are themes running through this that um, are worth exploring in a movie like this, right? There there are themes of bullying and, like I said, all the the parental relationships and. Um, 
you know, the the idea that you can be ashamed of a child uh, because they are different and, and so forth. And all that stuff works mostly. It's just that, eh, you know, at, at the end of the day, it feels like this is a bit more of a slog to get through. It's a, a bit of a march of its own, um, which is not great because the movie itself is, you know, not an hour and a half long. It's a pretty short movie. But even with its abbreviated runtime, it still feels like the pacing is off. That, that there's not a, a sense of forward momentum with this movie the way uh, that there needs to be. So, yeah, bit of a bummer. Uh, 2359 also has a sequel uh, called 2359 The Haunting Hour that was done in 2018, which I haven't seen. Also directed by Gilbert Chan. Apparently, it's more of an anthology. Uh, where you've got three stories kind of built around this, and maybe maybe Gilbert Chan is going to work better in that sort of environment. Uh, I don't know. Hard to say. But I, I, what I can tell you is that this movie is not that much fun. I mean, I it, it it's kind of creepy, but there's so many better options for, you know, your Halloween time this time of year. So I would probably recommend skipping 2359. Like if you're a completist and just want to watch all the movies that we're watching th this 31 days. I mean, it's not the worst idea in the world. Uh, but this is going to be one of the the least enjoyable, I think, of, of the movies we've talked about. And, uh, you know, every now and again I kind of glance at the list. And I think this is probably... Probably the last time we're gonna say like this is just a bummer of a movie that it 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 doesn't have much to offer. It feels very of a type, uh, but not good enough to uh, you know it recommend itself against others uh, against the its peers. Um, so I don't know. I'm curious to watch the the sequel, the the anthology sequel, also done by by Chan. And see if that's any better. Um, so yeah, I, uh, 2359, there you have it. We won't uh, spin our wheels too much talking uh, about this movie. Um, I hope you're enjoying the 31 Days of Halloween. I am now back in the saddle. So you will see me about on uh, the, uh, the Discord in particular. And uh, as always, if you want to hook up with the Social Media for Legion podcast, you can do so. Um, by just hopping over to legionpodcasts.com find any of these 31 days of Halloween posts uh, there uh, they'll be right there on the front page and uh, yeah and you, you just follow that link and it's going to give you links to all of the social media accounts I will say that discord is the one that I am most active on I haven't been for about a week uh, on account of being on vacation um, and but I will be uh, going forward so uh, please drop by say hello and uh, let me know what you think about the the movies we have been discussing if you've seen 2359 and you're like Bo you're missing all this brilliant subtext and how dare you uh, by all means let me know I don't think I am but uh, you know I'm, I'm certainly willing to talk about it and and we've got just crazy good movies coming up because the closer we get to Halloween the more uh, I am you know kind of programming the schedule so that I'm watching something that, you know, makes me happy and, and full of Halloween joy. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be very exciting. Uh, and that's it for this time around. Um, be sure, uh, to check out the rest of the shows here on uh, Legion podcast. If you are subscribed to the dark parade feed, and that is how you are listening to this show, be sure that you're also su subscribing to the Legion podcast feed on the podcast catcher of your choice. Likewise, if you're listening to this on Legion Podcast, uh, come over to the Dark Parade where we're going to be doing a, a bunch more stuff. I'm uh, uh, very excited about you know what's coming over the next you know few months. Quite frankly, now that I've got the 31 days of Halloween on the ropes uh, on the back end of this business, uh, then you know back to normal business with the Dark Parade doing our weekly shows. There's uh, a found footage fool waiting to happen in the form of that new Shutter movie, Deadstream, and uh, more, more and more to come, I assure you. So that'll do it this time around. Uh, enjoy your, your Tuesday and, uh, be spooky out there, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for the 31 days of Halloween. Talk to you then. Mm -hmm.